In this video, I'm going to share with you one change to your diet that will change everything. If you want to up your diet game, feel better and get healthier, stay tuned because I'm going to share that with you right now. Howdy. Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. I started this YouTube channel to help my own MS clinic patients learn between visits, and it's my hope that through these videos, I can help you learn too. Today's topic is on diet. This video is the third in a series I've done talking about diet. My first video really focused on the current recommendations for people with MS, suggesting that a cardiovascular diet is a healthy diet, and I'll throw a link up above in case you haven't checked that one out. More recently, I published a video where I talked about the concepts of calories in and calories out. I gave a pro tip of using an app like MyFitnessPal to help you become more aware of the calories that you're putting in your body and the calories that you're expending. I also shared a technique of using a pedometer to kind of keep track of your steps. It was brought to my attention that whereas calories in and calories out is an important concept, not all calories are made equal. And so this video is dedicated to that topic, talking about what kind of calories you want to eat. And I'm going to share with you one seemingly small change that is revolutionary in its impact. And so let's jump in. Here's the big tip. Eat real food, avoid processed foods, and avoid sugar. That's it. Sounds super simple, but it's actually quite a significant challenge in changing the average American diet. The vast majority of things that we eat aren't real food. You can go throughout your day drinking soda pop or diet soda, eating protein bars out of plastic wrappers, and eating fast food, and you're not consuming real food. You're consuming processed things with weird chemicals that you can't pronounce in massive amounts of added extra sugars. And it's my opinion that if you can train yourself to avoid eating fake stuff and instead eat whole natural foods and avoid processed foods and sugar, I think it's going to do something pretty remarkable. Now, anecdotally, you may find that you have more energy, you're less bloated, you think more clearly, and a lot of really cool things happen. But I'm saying this in the context of a diet because not all calories are made the same. So l walk through this with me as I start to break things down. We can fall into a habit, and many of us do, where we feel sad and blue and we're super hungry. So we grab a shiny cupcake and we <laughs> devour that shiny cupcake. And for a fleeting moment, it kind of makes us feel better. We have a massive sugar rush, but then we crash. And you see guys, there's no nutritional value in that cupcake. It's just a bunch of processed food, sugar, and chemicals. And so you find yourself hungry again. And what do you do? You reach for a second cupcake. And you get into a cycle where you're feeding your body sugar and processed crap and you're not providing any actual nutrition. Let's start to think about various aspects of where we can identify fake foods and processed foods and sugars and try to remove them from our diet so that the calories we choose to eat are healthy calories providing nutrition. I'll start talking about beverages. Please avoid soda. Many, many people aren't drinking any water, they're just drinking Diet Mountain Dew. Now, a can of Coke has 12 tablespoons of extra sugar added to it. Think about that, 12 tablespoons. That's a tremendous amount of sugar, providing you essentially no nutritional value, but it helps you pack on the pounds. And if you think that you can fix the problem the way I used to by switching to diet soda, you're wrong. Diet soda has no nutritional value. It has chemicals that trick your mouth into thinking that you're eating or drinking something sweet. But in reality, you're consuming a bunch of chemicals that you can't pronounce, and it's providing no nutritional value, and it leaves you feeling hungry. I am challenging you to avoid soda. When I first did this, it was hard. And one of the tricks that really helped me was switching to soda water, like La Croix or Perrier or something like that. If you haven't had soda like that, it takes a little getting used to, but I love it. It's bubbly and carbonated and I kind of feel good about doing it, 
but it's a form of water and it is something that I need and it doesn't leave me packing on the pounds and it doesn't leave me still hungry. I challenge you to avoid soda, both diet and regular, and I want you to replace it with water or you can try soda water. Let's talk about my favorite beverage, coffee. I used to put multiple tablespoons of sugar in my coffee and I used to put in creamer and the creamer wasn't actually real creamer. It was in these little packets that were plastic and if you read the ingredients, you can't pronounce any of them and they don't spoil and there's something wrong about that. I then switched to Splenda and I thought, well, that's better because it's zero calories. I was putting one to two packets of Splenda and fake creamer in each one of my cups of coffee. And as you guys know, I drink a lot of coffee. I was packing in all of these chemicals and I wasn't really paying any attention to it whatsoever. I have trained myself to drink my coffee black or with a little bit of milk. I actually love it and that's the way I enjoy my coffee. And you can teach yourself to do it too. This is a challenge, but it is a worthwhile challenge to avoid processed foods and to avoid sugar. Let's switch gears and talk about snacks. Oftentimes in the grocery store, there are aisles and aisles of things in wrappers and plastic and they taste delicious. And we may choose to get a power bar or a nutrition bar or a Snickers bar as a snack. I want you to read the label you're gonna find that there's a tremendous amount of sugars in this stuff that's packed in there and a lot of extra added chemicals. And I am challenging you to change your snacks and try calories that are real food. So what are some examples? Try fruit. Fruit is delicious. Fruit is real food and fruit has fructose in it. It's sweet and delicious. Try eating a handful of nuts. Nuts have wonderful nutritional value. They've got protein and healthy fats and they do something different than a Snickers bar. When you eat nuts or when you eat fruit, it fills you up and it makes you not feel hungry. A Snickers bar doesn't do that for you. And I want you to think critically about the kind of snacks you're eating. Lastly, let's talk about meals. McDonald's and Wendy's and fast food joints are not real food. If you buy a burger from a fast food joint and you unwrap it and set it on the shelf, a year later, it still looks the same. The stuff doesn't rot. Guys, food is supposed to spoil. Food isn't supposed to be able to be kept out for years at a time without rotting. That's disgusting. And there is added extra sugar and there is all kinds of wackadoodle chemicals in fast food. It's not real. I challenge you instead to eat foods that have ingredients that you can pronounce. Try instead eating a lean piece of protein. Have a piece of fish, have a piece of chicken. Try instead to eat vegetables. I'm being serious. Add fruits and vegetables into your meals. This sounds like a simple task, but it's a really, really big deal. Not all calories are made the same and you can revolutionize the way that you feel and you can do a much better job of controlling your weight by eating real food. Here's an awesome pro tip. When you shop at the supermarket, shop in the perimeter of the supermarket. That's where the real foods are found. That's where you're gonna find the healthy um, proteins in the deli. That's where you're gonna find fresh fruits and vegetables. It's a different way of approaching food. This video is not about a particular diet. This video is about challenging you to avoid processed sugars, and to avoid processed foods with chemicals that you simply can't pronounce. As I wrap this video up, I wanna submit a challenge to you. I dare you, I double dog dare you, to eat real foods, to avoid processed foods, to avoid chemicals you can't pronounce, and to avoid extra sugar for one month. It takes some work. It changes the way you shop. It changes the choices that you make. But I think if you try it, you're gonna be amazed at the results. I challenge you to do it, and if you take my challenge, please, please leave comments down below about what the experience was, was like. My name's Aaron Boster, and thank you for learning about MS with me. Today is the third installment in a series of videos dedicated to diet. I appreciate you guys, and I love your input.
and I look forward to reading your comments and your questions and your suggestions down in the section below. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please consider doing so. You just click that little red button and make sure to ring the notifications bell. That way you're alerted every time I put out a new video and every time I start a live stream. Until my next video, take care. And you can revel at root blah. And you can revel at root blah. In this video, I'm going to tell you something something hoobity hoobity. Not a cool thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Starting over. A lot of... of Starting over.